Hello, today I'm in the German forests. I am at a place called Camping Park Kirksel. It's a really fantastic uh, location for outdoor activities and obviously I'm here with the motorhome and now I'm going to talk to the new owner of the site. We'll find out uh, why he bought it or we'll try and find out why he bought the campsite and have a little look around. Today I'm in the Odenwald. This is an upland area of Germany. It is where we are now. I would say we're so if you drew a line between Frankfurt and Nuremberg, it's sort of more or less halfway in between. It's it's an area of forests, of uh, hills, of uh, mysteries indeed. And uh, this is Norbert, who uh, Hi. has opened. Uh, not really open, but bought this campsite here, this town called Kirksel, and uh, you've given the name Kirksel to the campsite. And um, sorry, uh, it's camp camping park Kirksel. We changed the name the mm -hmm. earlier owner had because we start new and uh, bring in much more uh, activities and uh, new things. Uh, that was the reason to start completely new with a new name. Mm -hmm. And we're here in the area in between Bavaria, Hessen and Baden-Württemberg. We're right in a corner where we're in, in two kilometers, three countries we have, and that's uh, very nice. Yes, it certainly is. Well, let's have a walk inside then, Norbert. And we, because the former owner called it Azur, I think it Azur, was. Azur, yes, it was Azur camping resort. Because that's, not really, that's all right if you're in France, but it doesn't uh, fit for this area at all. No, absolutely not, because we are here in a really nature resort with a lot of trees in the forest. We have two small rivers uh, here with trout, so you can watch fishing. And uh, it's not allowed to do it by yourself, but you can watch the fishes. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of deers, and, and the nature is great. Yes, no, it's absolutely outstanding. I saw a deer on the campsite uh, yesterday, so... Uh, <laughs> and uh, but now, the campsites existed since, what, 1960, something like that? Uh, about 50 years, yes, you know, or a little bit more. It was uh, founded in the 60s by Aral, uh, and uh, since this time, the owner changed, I think, three or four times. Yes. And uh, now we have it, and we try to to push it up back to the old uh, uh, sizes, old, old uh, famous uh, camping resort as, as it was in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because it, 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 I can see how it's a bit run down and I can see what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have to do a lot, you have really a lot. You have to swim a swimming pool mm -hmm. behind oh, the, uh, the tent. Um, Should we have, shall we have a walk down there and have yes, a look from the yes, outside of the swimming pool? Yeah. Because the, uh, an indoor swimming pool, I've only, myself, I've only been to one other camping site with an indoor swimming pool, and that was in France. Uh, it is somewhat unusual on a campsite. Yes, it's, uh, because it's a very expensive part mm -hmm. for a camping resort. Uh, but here, the you don't have the temperatures like in Italy or Spain, yes. and therefore it's helpful to to take a shower, shower to take a bath in, in the warm uh, water. Yes, certainly. I, um, you know, I was in real estate before, and I, uh, you know, it happened. I looked at a project. I wanted to build a, a you know, a, a block of flats, a uh, with a swimming pool in the basement, but the cost was astronomical. Yes. And, and, and of course, people have to pay that every month. They have to pay for these uh, upkeep costs. Yes, the, the energy is very expensive to heat it up. But to me, it looks as though you're you're ready here. Ooh. If that if that is the water temperature, it's going to affect the uh, no, the camera. It's 30, 32 degrees at this time. Oh, yo, yo. Because we have a lot of uh, all the people, they like to have it warm. Yes. And not so, not so cold. Wow. And that's a really good swimming pool. I mean, there's municipal swimming pools of uh, <laughs> this size. 
And how deep is it? 145. Okay, no, that's great. 80 meters long and mm -hmm. 8 meters bright. Yeah. I can see that the camera is now uh, <laughs> getting... Wet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, certainly, because you're, you're not coming up very clear at all. And uh, also you've got a sauna in uh, here, which is being um, done up. Uh, the sauna will be started uh, next year, not this year. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that will be great for the winter. Yep. As you know, we have this camera uh, club since uh, July mm -hmm. uh, 17, and we had not uh, enough time to prepare everything. No, but yeah, you, so you bought, yeah, just over 10 months ago. Uh, so I appreciate it takes a really long time, and you obviously you've still got a job. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> so, how, how big is the site in, in uh, overall? Overall, we have space for 340 uh, spots, mm -hmm. and totally we have 6 hectares. This is about 60,000 square meters. Yes, yes. And what uh, what was going through your mind when you decided to actually buy the campsite? Maybe <laughs> I can't remember why, uh, but we thought uh, it could be nice to do a lot with the people. We, we try to to change uh, mm -hmm. the um, the handling of uh, camp because in the beginning of camping, mm -hmm. it was all the people are friendly. They mm -hmm. uh, help each other, and uh, this changed in the last uh, uh, many years mm -hmm. uh, to um, typical egoistic people. Yes. And we say, now let us change this to be always friendly, say uh, you to each body, mm -hmm. and no, but with respect. That's very important, yes. not without respect. And we said, okay, we have one prize the whole year from January to December, because it's open the whole year. And um, all the families with many children normally in the high season pay more. And we say no, mm -hmm. we say less or the same price. They have the uh, advantage than here mm -hmm. to save money. Yes. And so the reception, uh, you've got the, uh, the bistro here, which is uh, still, it needs to be done up yet. Yes, still. that just, uh, takes about uh, four or five weeks that we can open it. Yeah. The bistro uh, with drinks. We have a club room in the back side with start with kicker mm -hmm. for youngers, for people, for children, so they can do something when it's raining in the inside. Yes. And a reception up here as it's, well. Yeah, that's uh, complete new. Mm -hmm. The inside is new, but only the cover had to be done in the end of the year. Here, the people can, uh, the campers can sit around, have a drink, mm -hmm. do something. They have a VLAN uh, mm -hmm. here in this area, and so you have a point where you can meet each other. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Of course, internet access is <laughs> popular these days. And yeah. uh, obviously, I appreciate that it's, it's, it's only 10 past 8 in the morning, but uh, you know, I noticed they had the uh, parasols out <laughs> all the time. It's the first time I've seen with the parasols down. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we it could have rained last night, yeah. Right. Maybe it did, I don't know. <laughs> it, it rained tonight. Uh, last night it yeah. rained. Overnight we had a little bit of rain, mm -hmm. but now the temperature it's in Greece and yeah. it's dry. Yeah, no, it was really hot. Yeah, I mean, 31 degrees inside the van yesterday. Yeah. So, uh, should, should we have a walk down yeah, a bit okay. further? Go, go and um, so, you obviously got a new logo as well. Uh, right. Because of the forest, you see the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are in the forest mm -hmm. uh, and the camping park, it looks, uh, it belongs together. Yes, 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 certainly. And uh, the pink, I, d I don't quite follow why the pink. The pink is a very nice, great color. Mm -hmm. um, my wife likes this color. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the flamingos are, have nearly this color. And so we, yeah, you see, if you look around, you will uh, see this color very often. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we like it. And uh, shall we have a, a walk around now? We'll yeah, have, please. we'll see. So you've got obviously, like every campsite, there's there's people like me who come for a couple of days or something, and there's people who sort of more or less are, uh, they leave their vans or the caravans more likely here all the time. Yes. 
they, they leave it here the whole year and it becomes more popular to stay the whole year here on the camp for maybe time by time over the weekend. Mm -hmm. They come out from the big towns and uh, enjoy it. Yes. Enjoy the nature, enjoy uh, a rest. It's very, um, it's not noisy here, Ab mm -hmm. absolutely not noisy. We have people, normally they get up in the morning at 5.30. The first time or when they start to sleep here, mm -hmm. they sleep up to 9.30. Mm -hmm. They are not common, uh, normal for them. Yes. They enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I was talking to one of the gentlemen, uh, on, we've just gone past his place in fact. He's here for I think four or five months, he's on a contract, he's put uh, in a factory, he's um, overseeing the installation of machinery or something for um, uh, uh, for t uh, indoor tiles. Yes. And so, and he's staying here for this period. Right. That's, um also, um, he saves money if he go, doesn't go into the hotel. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly, and, yeah. Uh, he has more space, not only a small room mm -hmm. where he has to stay the whole time, he can use the whole camp resort here for mm -hmm. himself. Yes. And uh, so we've got this at the moment on the right here, it's uh, sort of empty, and yeah. this will be for the campers. Oh, I can see though we've got electric boxes, yeah, so uh, you can take the. Uh, this for tourists here. Yeah. They can. Uh, decide where they like to go. They, it's not uh, fixed, the areas, what they rent or where they go. They are, they are, we are absolutely open uh, in sizes and places where the, the guest likes to go, yes. to stay. And here on the left we have this magnificent uh, uh, Mercedes <laughs> van from, uh, must be 40 years old. Uh, yeah. Outstanding. Yes, he's living here time by time. Mm -hmm. and enjoys here the yeah. area because it's right on the small river yeah it's I mean, the, the area is quite wonderful i mean it's a, I, I was at a trade fair two years ago and uh, Odenwald was there now i'm pretty good at geography in fact although i'm not much good at most things uh, but uh, i've never met anybody as good at geography as i am <laughs> but i didn't know where it was so i asked them <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Never heard of that. <laughs> it must be really small, sort of thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> More if, so. if you if you think about a little bit about history, mm. we have uh, very famous places around here: mm -hmm. Miltenberg and Amorbach. Mm -hmm. Amorbach, we have a first. Uh, he's living there some uh, most time in Monaco, mm -hmm. not here, but uh, uh, the Basilica, uh, the, the church where mm -hmm. he belongs to. Uh, it's nice, really mm -hmm. nice, absolutely nice. Yes. Great, I go this way. And uh, so the, the, the campsite goes up there a little bit further. Uh, we are a bit pushed for time uh, today because uh, we've got a, um, a, a rally, that's the word in English, I think. Um, we're going on a convoy, which is, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a practice run. Uh, we're going to try and beat the world record for the largest motorhome rally or motorhome convoy uh, in um, in history. <laughs> world uh, record. In, in history, <laughs> yes, you're right. Because uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the the record was done by Italian uh, people mm -hmm. with 670 caravans, mm -hmm. and now we pre pre we are prepared to you to do it with 1,000. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, we'll, we, with a small convoy, we will test the area, we'll test uh, the space, uh, mm -hmm. how it works, and also we will have uh, a TV there mm -hmm. that they can report about. Yes, yes. And uh, so I'm expecting to be talking to the television a bit later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And so you've got also uh, quite a lot of facilities. You've got the, the um, how many how many bathrooms in total? Uh, total we have three. Mm -hmm. in, in each area, number one right in the back of the indoor swimming pool, mm -hmm. two in front of us, and uh, number three is in the back now. Mm -hmm. We we saw it on on the film, I think, yeah. uh, shortly. Mm -hmm. Yes, and. Uh, so, how long have you been camping yourself? Oh, I started with camping with my parents. Mm -hmm. uh, and 
as long as I can remember, we, we started many, many, okay, I don't talk about my age, uh, many years ago with a tent mm -hmm. <laughs> around uh, on the North Sea, in Austria and everywhere. Mm -hmm. And later with a caravan and with my wife about 10 years with a motorhome. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I was 16 when I started. I, um, I got bicycle. A friend of mine said how great it was uh, camping with his bicycle. I liked the idea so much that I bought myself a tent. So that's how I started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the, the, the most people start like with a tent and later they switch over to caravan or motorhome. Oh, I was, yes, I was sleeping in the car. Um, I remember mean, the first weekend we actually tried it, there was uh, my then girlfriend and the sister, three of us, and we slept in the back of the Renault 25, oh. but we went to the, um, uh, what was it, uh, Dorset? No, um, I forgot what it was, somewhere in the west, uh, west of uh, uh, the UK. <laughs> so this is the chemical, uh, the chemical dump, uh, internal, of, yeah. Uh, one of three, mm -hmm. each uh, uh, bathroom, we have one of the chemical. Okay, yeah. I, now I used the shower yesterday, oh, yeah, and uh, oh yes, very good. I normally don't. I notice that most people do tend to use the showers on site, yeah. but uh, I I don't. We better not film just in case there's no. anybody. Uh, you know, it's, it's just got it's just gone eight in the morning, and uh, somebody comes out with no clothes on. <laughs> it could happen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it has happened to me once when I was filming, and then here we've got a room for doing the washing up. Washing up, yeah, yeah, really yeah. Awesome. and. Uh, yeah, I like, I like personally, I like to wash my own van, but um, I notice I'm in a minority on that one. Okay. Also, I think lots of people don't really want to heat the water up in the, their vans. No, but you have the hot water here, mm. it's not limited. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take a shower five minutes or 50 minutes, mm -hmm. doesn't matter. So uh, therefore, you have, done to, you, do, you have not to pay for it. Mm -hmm. It's all, all included. Yes, yes. Because I'm, I'm a bit unusual uh, in as much as I actually... Um, wash myself in cold water mm -hmm. in the summer. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay. Got, okay. <laughs> so we got the vans down here as well. Yes. And uh, perhaps actually, you mentioned the subject of cost. So um, it's um, I've got this. Oh, you, you it's what, uh, five fifty for for the van. For the van for the for the spot. Yeah. Uh, you have five fifty, and for a person you have four fifty. Yes. Uh, the whole year. There's yeah. no raising of pricing yes. or so, and for electrician separately, depending yeah. what you're using. Yes, yes, yes that's, I mean, that's fair. Yes, and uh, no, it's a great, it's a fantastic area, and uh, I really, I really like it here. Hey, I'll see you back to the uh, the reception. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, to me, to be this contact with nature, I went up to the castle mm -hmm. uh, nearby uh, two days ago. I cycled around a little bit uh, right. yesterday, although it was very hot, and I, 31 degrees. <laughs> yes. And uh, uh, it was too hot for activities. <laughs> yes, it was a bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Though we shouldn't complain at the heat. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, yeah. no for, only for activities. Heat is, heat is nice when you can have a restful afternoon in. Uh, on, on the uh, ground, on the floor, with a drink, with a cool drink, yes. it's very nice. <laughs> okay, well thank you very much Norbert, it's been really, I hope this does well, I know you've still got lots of work to do, but we can see how it's, it is, but one thing you can do nothing about are the surroundings, and the surroundings are fantastic. Thank you very much, and have a good time. Bye bye. <laughs>